So I got to tell you, I fucking slept great last night. You know, getting that extra, that little bit of extra in there was fucking amazing. And then I went down to the gym, which was right next door to my room. I threw the weights around. This younger kid comes in, right? And he comes over. All they had was one bench and there was nobody in there. You know, the typical hotel gym, you know, a couple of ellipticals, a couple of treadmills, a couple of bump, you know, dumbbells, and then just the whole fucking universal station, right? So I'm over in the corner, minding my own business, and this fucking kid comes in, and, you know, he opens up the door to get some air in there. You know that person, they, they come in there, and it's just like, you know, they'll change the TV. They just start doing shit, like they're making it their space. Like, oh, shit, you know. I thought I was gym guy. I thought, you know, I evidently I just came to the gym. This is gym guy. Look at him. He's rearranging fucking furniture. He's opening the fucking window. He's doing all of this shit, right? So immediately I'm like, all right, why is this fucking hotel guest acting like he fucking, like this is his gym? So I'm already starting to like look at him in a, in a certain way, you know? So then he fucking comes over to where I'm at. And I'm thinking, all right, this is weird. There's only one bench over here and I'm, you know, workout little fucking thing here and I'm not done with it. So I don't know what this guy's doing. And he just grabs like all these heavy dumbbells and walks to the other side of the gym and he keeps fucking dropping them on the floor. Even though there's a fucking sign that says, don't drop them on the floor, right? And I'm like, all right, I'm starting to get this guy. I'm starting to get this guy. This guy has to come in and he has to dominate the space. You know, he's coming in and the first statement he makes is that the hotel isn't running their gym right. And now he was like on like the, uh, the bar, he was like the bar rescue guy of like the gym. So he comes in, he fucking, you know, he's letting the air in. Now he's grabbing these things. The sign says, don't drop the weights. He's dropping the weights anyway, you know, because he's above the fucking rules, right? But I'm not going to lie to you, man. Like, I kept watching him when he was working out because he was doing all those modern fucking things. I still do the exact same workout I did (laughs) when Steve Winwood was winning Grammys, you know? Give me a higher love. I still, I still, I want to be your sledgehammer, Peter Gabriel. You know, I still do the exact same fucking, the <laughs> same shit. I've done some shit with bands, you know, rehabbing my fucking shoulders and stuff. But I still basically, I do the exact, when it comes to weights, I do the same thing. And this dude. He was doing these things like genuflecting while holding a dumbbell, one dumbbell over his head with one arm, right? And then he would walk towards me as I'm on the bench, you know, like he's going to fucking T-bone the bench. Then right when he couldn't take another lunge, he would then back up. And then he'd come back at me again, right, with the other arm in the air with the same dumbbell, right? Coming at me like a fucking meerkat, you know, lunging, trying to look bigger. Like some cobra that went down his fucking hole, right? So uh, down his hole mean down into his fucking, you know, house there where the little little meerkats were, not fucking up his ass in case people got confused with my varmint reference. Are meerkats considered varmints? All right. These are the questions I have. I got I to look this shit up. Um, but anyway, his fucking working out made me feel like, is he like laughing at me, looking at me, watching... Like, I'm over here, ba ba da ba 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 I'm going to fucking bench and then do some curls and then do some tries and then do the shoulders, then fucking sit-ups, then go back to the room, order fucking donuts, oh, yeah. Um, hang on a second here. Our, but then I looked at him, and I'm like, he's really not in good shape. You know, he's got all the, sh- he's got all the gear. You know, he's over here opening windows. He's doing these 2021 exercises, but I don't know, maybe I'm catching him at the begin, beginning. Maybe he's turning his life around. Are mere cats varmints? Why do mere cats stand up? Wait, I gotta find out what it was. I don't even know if I spelled it right. What is a varmint? A var- oh, it's M I N T, a varmint, a troublesome and mischievous person, especially a child. Wait a second. One classified as vermin, vermin and unprotected by game law. Oh, you can just fucking... <laughs> you can just shoot a fucking raccoon, right? Synonyms for varmin. Bastard, beast, bleeder, blighter, bore, bounder, bugger, buzzard, cad, chuff, churl, clown. Fucking clown. Um, rats, mice... 
and other varmints. The sheriff in the movie gets revenge on the dirty varmint who killed his brother. Oh, I get it. 